Today we're taking a look at this Giro, Giro, Gyro, Gyro, Riddance Mid mountain bike shoe. And to be honest, I really don't like this shoe. Stick around and we'll talk about it. Welcome to a quick review where I won't bog you down with too many details. So let's get started with a long-winded explanation of why I bought these shoes. If you've been with this channel a while and you've actually paid attention to what's on my feet, you would probably notice I've been wearing these Vans. I've had these for about five years and I think I paid $40 for them. And honestly, they've served me really well. So as you can see, they're pretty worn out. And with everyone else around me wearing mountain bike specific shoes, I feared I'd check some out. Now I went with these because on paper, these things look amazing. They check off almost all the boxes on my wish list. A sole designed by the company that made toe shoes? Check. A rubber compound called Mega Grip? Sounds tantalizing. Mid top height that will protect my ankles? Yes, I accept. This dope looking strap that keeps your shoelaces in check? Brilliant. Designed in conjunction with pro riders? Yeah, marketing hype. What's not to love? The story changes once I put them on. So let's just dive right into the pros and cons. We'll start with the good stuff first. These shoes are actually really comfortable. When you first put them on, you can tell how robust they are. They actually have really good impact absorption, as I will demonstrate by jumping off my front porch here. Now I know you can't sense pain through a video, but I will tell you my feet hurt more in the vans when doing this. Another pro, these look really well built. Um, they feel durable. I don't think these would rip or tear or break that easily, so they have that going for them. Also, I think they look pretty cool. It honestly looks like something a character in Space Jam would wear, and I'm all about that. I also really like the strap. Um, it keeps your shoelaces in check, so that's pretty cool. Although it can be somewhat of a nuisance while you're trying to tie your shoes. And that's about where the pros stop. The first glaring, obvious, painful con of this shoe is the sole. Now Vibram calls this the Mega Grip sole, but I think a better name would be the Mega Slip. These jokes write themselves. I even found a video clip of a guy at Jiro that says these aren't as grippy as 510s. Uh, the idea is to have better grip than you've ever been able to get from Jiro shoes. Right up there with stealth rubber. Uh, not quite as grippy as stealth. I wish I'd seen that video before I bought these. Now I didn't come to this conclusion on just one ride. I've ridden with these for about two to three months. My feet slipped off quite a bit. Um, I never felt confident, like I had a good connection with my pedal, which is not a good feeling. I'll even insert a few clips of me complaining about these shoes. <laughs> Dang. These shoes suck. My foot completely slipped off. Can't get the grip on these shoes. Yes, there were times where if I got my foot like just perfectly placed on the pedal, it would sort of grip in there. But any slight movement, it, it, it was just done. Now I know you're gonna say, oh, we're clipless pedals and this won't happen. And you're probably right, but I like flats. Another negative to this shoe, I think this is more just me personally, I felt like there was a major disconnect between my foot and the pedal. These almost felt like I was just wearing a brick on my foot. It's hard to explain, but it's very stiff, which I know that's what a lot of people want. But I've been riding these vans for so long, I'm just used to the flexibility of arching my foot around the pedal if I need to. Again, I think that's just my personal preference, but these are just super stiff. So if you're into stiff shoes, then Maybe you'll love these, I don't, I don't know. And the third con is honestly the price. For 140 bucks, I was expecting so much more out of these shoes. I was expecting to just, you know, lift my feet and the bike would come with me because they're so grippy. So in the grand scheme of things, um, I really cannot recommend these shoes. If you're willing to spend this much money on a shoe, definitely go with 510s. I actually ended up picking up a pair of 510s. I won't even do a whole review on these, they're amazing, they grip so well. There's a reason why you see so many people wearing these shoes. They work. Now if someone were to give these away to me, I would wear them, um, and I bet you would too. Uh -huh. And if you are on more of a budget, I would say go with Vans. 
the waffle grip is classic and it and it works but if you're spending your hard-earned money i would skip these shoes and that's that let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this shoe have you had any experience with it and if you have what did you think am i just being a diva or did you really dislike these too let me know now as always if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it however please give it four dislikes to really let me know how much you hate it. Now, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. A new adventure on wheels awaits you weekly, and we'd love to have you here. Even though this wasn't an adventure on wheels, it was somehow relevant. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your time. And until next week, stay rowdy within reason.